go up. And this is why modern feminism creates beta men. Is that what this video is? Mm -hmm. All right, let's play that. Oops, the volume, volume, gentlemen. You got a top. No, no, no. The top the corner. Top. We're gonna have to probably hit refresh. Yeah. Yeah. There. There you go. And now just top right. Modern feminism doesn't want women to fully surrender or submit to a worthy man, a.k.a. Shiva, because if she does this, then it forces men to step into his role as an alpha masculine man and actually do something society has discouraged him from doing. That's called taking the lead, which forces the woman to follow his will and lead and goes against simping culture, which is the backbone of our economy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, Modern let, me, let, me, let, let me ask some questions here. There's so much to There's so much about. to discuss here, okay? Um, a, there's the statement that men lead, women follow. Correct. Okay, so we'll get your ladies' uh, opinions on this quote in itself. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how many of you ladies are gonna do what um, <laughs> Janelle was doing no. to I'm their man. Like We're gonna one. take a hard, hard pass. take a hard pass. Okay, so let's different. start with that, Victoria. Uh, Janelle, I, I don't know if this was like an actual thing that you do in real life to your man, or yeah. if this is like, it is. It is something I do in real life um, to my man. Is something I encourage. Uh, we do at our retreats. So you encourage you, what women if, to, to to sort do of to, to men, whether they're their partners or not. If you attend my retreat, you're going to be doing that for sure. To your man. To, to their man or to a man that they're doing the exercise with. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. So a lot of women are like, hell no, Janelle. Correct. And this ain't happening. Just if they see it like that. Now, if they attend a retreat and they understand like the spiritual component and the polarity component behind it, they understand and Got it, it makes sense. Okay. Victoria, <laughs> what are the chances? Eric, we can remove the, like we, yeah, we, we, we don't need all that. Um, what are the chances that you're going to do uh, that? The bowing, the, essentially the kissing of the feet to your man. Negative a thousand? Like, no. Not going to happen. I'm not going to happen. Okay. Explain I'd rather why. make a sandwich that I'm more about <laughs> making before so I So you'll that. make a sandwich? Yeah. That's good. Okay. That's a good start. That's a good start, yeah. Um, but that's just something I'm you're not going to do. Why? It's just on, like, the thought of that is just so not appropriate to you. It's just, I'm, I'm not your slave. Like, what's going through your mind? I don't know. I'm creeped out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Listen, guys, That's we're having honest. we're having an open discussion here. Yeah. You're all lovely That's people. That's actually a we're nice all... answer. Some okay, of those you're a little creeped are... out, Natalia. Um, I know that ain't that kind yeah, of your vibe. Right I there. personally Go would ahead. not. I would, you know, make him feel that way in other ways. But I just personally don't feel like like for me. I bow when I pray to God. Okay. okay. So Amen. like I don't like I was raised like God. You know your husband, your you know your kids, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So I don't feel like I would want to bow well, to my husband. Well, he is God, so that's the concept. That, the concept and I was that, raised that your way. man is God. Correct. I was raised that I was raised in mm -hmm. in a cult, a very uh, fundamental Christian. So I understand this concept. And well. where? What what area? Um, actually, I grew up in Thailand. I my okay. my family was missionaries. I see the Thai tattoos. Got yes. It. Um, and this is this one is actually um Sanskrit. It ah. says Ishvara Pranayana. It means surrender to the divine. And the divine is who? God. Okay. God. But you're God, saying, but, but also God, my partner. Now, uh, do you believe that God was a man? Is a man? I believe that God is the divine feminine energy in masculine and feminine energy. I'm God as well. Huh? Okay, you blew my mind. Yeah, I, no I didn't catch that. that. Okay, catch so that. when I talked about polarity, yes. meaning masculine, feminine energy, male and female. So Shiva, as we say, which is the divine, masculine, cosmic principle. Mm -hmm. like, which you have across your neck, by the way, if right, I'm reading Shiva, that correctly. Right, Shiva, correct. Shiva, correct. Yes. And then the feminine version of that is the divine, uh, feminine, cosmic principle, Shakti. So it's masculine and feminine um, duality, polarity comes together. And that makes oneness, union. And that's the ultimate, when you think about orgasm, that's the ultimate union. It's when there's no more masculine, from a, if you're into metaphysics, if you understand like science no, or spiritual not, science. Not even a little bit. <laughs> so the <No>. metaphysical <laughs> principle is the minute you go into orgasm, you have transcended polarity, meaning you've heard of the chakras, right? This of course. Is, yeah, you've transcended all of them. 
because now you're no longer gender. You're no longer male or female. You've gone above that to consciousness. If I ask you, you had the best orgasm of, of your life. Just go there with me now. Like you're there. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Who said that? All right. And Close your eyes. <gasps> Boom. All right. <laughs> and, I, and I ask you, what's your name? In that moment of orgasm. Eric. You know, no, you I don't know. <laughs> you don't even know your name. You can't yeah. say your name. True. You don't know. And the yeah. orgasm, the sexual energy, the orgasmic energy is the most powerful energy on the planet just orgasmic anyone, energy meaning that that seed energy there's no it creates life thank you so if you it so gives, what i teach you know you do that with the right woman correct and, uh, I don't. I don't need to explain how sex works. I think we got it. How babies are made. All right, the stork is not actually a thing, Natalia. So I teach people how to master and control that sexual energy. For many people, it's a spiritual practice. It is for me. So when I look at him, that's God. That's Shiva. It's a divine, masculine, cosmic principle of God, and He looks at me the same way as the feminine version of that. So to me, to bow to Him, and it's like I'm bowing to you because I see in you a godlike energy and principle of unchanging, unwavering presence. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another, or if you want to watch the entire Sauce cast, click right here.